Thanks so much for hanging out with us tonight. Coming up tomorrow, more barbecue and Belvedere, Smoke and Coop Barbecue Pit, plus Beard Arts and Wine Wednesday, too. One more thing before we go tonight. We're so honored to get the chance to talk to Emmy and NAACP winning actor Glenn Turman. Hello, how are you? Hello, Michelle. How are you? I'm good. You've had an incredible career, and now I know we're about to get an entire documentary about your life and career, The Legend of Glenn Turman. How does that make you feel? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Kind of self-conscious. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it is kind of cool, though. It really is cool. It really is amazing. What was it like revisiting some of your early roles for this documentary? It was uh, quite a trip down memory lane, you know. Uh, uh, Junie Smith, who was the director and producer of this uh, wonderful uh, documentary, and if, if I may humbly say so, uh, he took me on quite a journey. Uh, just brought up some things that I had forgotten about. You know, once you've been in it as long as I have, some of the things you go, oh my goodness, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that one, and so it was. It was quite, a, quite, a, quite a journey. Well, that's pretty awesome. What do you see as like the top standout moment from your career when you're looking back? Well, you know what really uh, it, it, uh, stands out for me is what got it all started, and uh, that was my uh, being uh, uh, selected to to create the role of Travis Younger. Uh, in the original Broadway play of A Raisin in the Sun, uh, playing opposite Sidney Poitier and Ruby Dee and Lou Gossett. And so that was my, my start as a youngster. And it threw me into the world of Broadway and show business quite unexpected. And what is, it, what is uh, interesting to me uh, in the documentary is how naive I was and how uh, presumptuous I was because I didn't plan any of this and it was not a you know I wanted to be a baseball player <laughs> so, no so kidding. it was uh, it was quite a, a surprising event for me and it's led to a career of uh, this many years you know and I've been able to be a part of so many wonderful productions such as uh, Cooley High and A Different World and, and some of the wonderful iconic uh, productions that I've been a part of and met so many fantastic people as a result of entering into this world. Yeah, you know, not everybody gets a chance to look back at their whole life and career and kind of be a part of a documentary like this. So it's really amazing uh, that you're getting the chance to do that right now. And it doesn't mean you're done working. You're still working on other stuff. What else can we get excited for? <laughs> Well, I just came back from uh, beautiful Utah, St. George, Utah, and, and the Zion National Forest, where I was filming uh, as uh, a motion picture called Horizon, which is Kevin Costner's new uh, uh, project and uh, his passion project. And he chose me uh, to be a part of it. And I'm so happy that he did. And uh, it's a Western, which is my favorite genre. I think you can see from the pictures on the wall behind me. You know? <laughs> so, uh, so I just got back from that production of, of Horizon. Of course, I've got Rustin coming out shortly. The, uh, um, the Obama's production, uh, Higher Ground, of uh, Bayard Rustin, the life story of Bayard Rustin, the man who created uh, and whose brainchild was the March on Washington in 1963, the famous um, I Have a Dream uh, speech by um, Dr. King. Mm -hmm. But this was all the brainchild of a man named Bayard Rustin. And this, this motion picture is coming out starring Coleman Domingo, who does a fantastic job as Bayard Rustin. Uh, 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 Rustin, and I play A. Philip Randolph. So it's it's a wonderful wonderful project coming out, and and uh, Black Cake also is uh, Oprah Winfrey's project that's yeah. coming out shortly. We just finished that over in Wales. So uh, you've been a um, busy I've got guy. a few for you to look out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very busy guy, and uh, we're so excited to watch all of those new proje uh, projects and watch your documentary, The Legend of Glenn Turman. I know it drops on Roku, Peacock, Prime Video, it's and like everywhere else on June 20th, right? <laughs> please pick it up on June 20th. You can pre-order now. It's available for pre-order right now. 
uh, legend of Glenn Terman. <laughs> well, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Thank you for having me. Thank you. And thank you all for watching. We'll see you tomorrow night. Bye-bye.